Yes, we name things. Tree, door, chair. We know the world because of the labels we put on things. Window, book, house, home, friend, foe, lover, smother, mother, daddy, cat, dog, cuddles. Had a chihuahua named Cuddles when I was a kid. Its jaw was broken when it was a pup when a person of considerable girth sat on it. Its teeth were perpetually jutting out of its mouth and they were yellow. And it had bad breath. And when it was announced that it was a birthday present, I said, I don't want that. And I was told, that's too bad because you're just going to have to take it anyway. An early life lesson. There are a lot of things that come our way in life that we don't want and we don't like, but we're going to have to learn to take it anyway. The allegory of the cave. Are we conscious or unconscious? Plato. Does anybody know what the allegory of the cave is? Speak up. Republic. What is a just city? What is a good city? You have a bunch of people sitting in a cave watching something projected on a wall in front of them. They see forms, they think it's reality. They're seeing the silhouettes of images and they think it's real. But there's one person that won't accept that. There's one person who says, that's not real. And he turns around and decides to go out of the cave. Decides to leave the cave into the light, into the sun. The hero's journey. The individual that can leave the darkness of the cave and step into the light and be liberated singularly. In Greece, in their theater, we see something else emerge. From the chorus, one man steps forward, not standing on Katharinae, not part of the chorus, not a god, not an echo, but a man. And his name is? Thespis. And we have the birth of the individual. We're no longer just a community. We are now seeking out our own path. And in this society, in the Greek society, we're not just adoring the gods, we're exploring our inner reality, the birth of philosophy. Now we can reflect inwardly, not just outwardly. Not just looking for a god to hand it down to us. We're going to figure out our own lives, our own existence. A golden age. The Romans come, they take it over. Greeks lose their society, their civilization. They crumble. And the Romans, they think they're smart. They think they're going to rule forever. But then, the barbarians come. I don't know what's happening these days. It's like the world's gone crazy. First the blacks down in the states start rioting, and now you Frenchies are doing the same thing, blowing up cars and kidnapping people. And for what? You want the English out. And where would a lot of you be if you and Butterfield's father hadn't started this company? Or we Irish hadn't come over to teach you how to run these factories? You just remember what side your bread's buttered on and keep in your place and we'll all get along fine. You understand? Let's talk about the object of love. What is it about love? When we see the one we love, our loved one, do we see all of them? Do we see all of them when you look at your true love for the first time? Well, what do you see here? Here. Here. What is it? A cup. You see a cup? Is it a cup? Is that cup? Is it just cup? What makes it cup? Why? What's wrong? I'm just asking you a question. What makes it cup? We have a picture of cups and we associate with cups. That's right. You have enough cupness in your brain to see enough cupness here to see cup. And in fact, although you're seeing this part of cup, you can't see the back of cup, but you're seeing it in your mind. Isn't that weird? <laughs> you know, our eyes can't do that, right? Our eyes can't see everything. We see parts of things, and then we put the picture together. Did you know that? 
You see another cup in this because you've seen cup before and a picture of cup is planted in your head. And because you've seen another cup in this, you feel safe that it's cup. Only to be revealed that maybe it's not cup. Maybe it's little Buddha. <laughs> and then we project our own values on them, our own pictures. We see Hamlet on the parapet before us. We see within, beyond that, the castle walls, the halls, the chamber, the bedchamber of Gertrude, but in fact, behind that wall are just supports, plywood. We look at our loved one, the object of our love. We see part of them, and then we fill in the rest of the picture.